Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. Once upon a time, in a galaxy far far away, I was once built a circuit. These are the circuits I built. We have a circuit here, some sort of a transistor, LED flusher, Isaki oscillator. Also, I have this anthropod, arthropod module, a skeleton module. These two are PCB standard module. This one is uh, a transistor LED flasher also this one a transistor LED flasher or also known as Isaki oscillator they bought Isaki oscillator with the uh, different name transistor LED flasher is the same as Isaki oscillator Having the same capacitor, different LED, a resistor there, same resistor, but with different transistor. This one, I'm using C1815 BJT transistor. This one, I'm using, uh, I think it's uh, 222A. Although constructed, constructed the same construction it has different blinking pattern because I'm using different transistor and uh, LED both have 10 millimeter in size so what's in here this is a uh, Osaki Isaki oscillator that uh, contradicts to the Ohm's law because we know that Ohm's law current flows from positive to negative or the electron flows from negative to positive but here the existence of uh, they call it negative resistance reverse voltage breakdown leakage current of the transistor characteristic is shown here and we can see that in our circuit diagram how this uh, circuit functions since these two are uh, previous circuits uh, let us uh, check the circuit diagram this is a transistor led flusher 12 volt supply 1 kilo ohms capacitor 16 volts 1000 microfarad LED is connected to the emitter, open base, the collector is grounded, that is the transistor LED flusher. And this Isaki oscillator is also the same, the transistor LED flusher. They got a different name but the same circuit configuration. Some electronics uh, creators or electronics hobbyists or engineers or students they uh, use Isaki oscillator or uh, transistor LED flasher but both have the same circuit configuration. This one is very old, that's why the circuit is miss messy. Also have some notes here. And this one, a little bit older, uh, but uh, both have the same circuit configuration. So, in this circuit, I decided to revive the circuit and make an Isaki tone generator based on this Isaki oscillator. So this is now our module, a new module, this is an arthropod module, we have the big capacitor here, 
medium size and the small size the transistor is in here and uh, also we have resistor output LED the power on LED the jumper and another jumper here and also a resistor and uh, some jumper wires and in the base we have this uh, header IO power header so we get this this is now our uh, Isaki tone generator Isaki tone generator oscillator arthropod module it is capable of standing on its own and as you've seen here it is collectible items uh, our new module at the same time it is for display good for display uh, if you already finished with the project you can display it in your cabinet just like this one it looks like uh, a battle uh, a robot battle uh, Python robot but I call this arthropod module because uh, every time I finish building a circuit it ends up into my bolt or into my uh, under my uh, bed or uh, I just uh, put it in the box and nothing uh, happened so I decided to create a circuit the other uh, way of building a circuit uh, using this type of uh, design although it is so hard to build because uh, I killed lots of uh, components here including including I uh, busted one transistor uh, a resistor LED and the possibility of short circuit is very it's possible the short circuit short circuiting the the module so this is uh, good for uh, as a souvenir also once you done the project you can display it in your uh, display cabinet at the same time it has a function it is an Isaki oscillator also this is a transistor LED flasher and aside from the two functions it is also a tone generator so we got three functions in one module three functions at the same time a display item so we got four features here display items transistor LED flasher Saki oscillator Saki tone generator so let us uh, now see how the circuit works let us plug in the power it is 12 volt supply it has a 12 volt supply so let us see where is the power here we have here positive to the positive oh so hard okay negative should be where is my negative this one I think this one so when you insert the 12 volt supply here now the circuit is on LED power LED turns on this is now the module with power on LED once you close the circuit or power on the circuit and then 
Let us now see how the circuit works, function, as a transistor LED flasher or as a circuit oscillator, whatever you call that. Uh, let us see. Now, we're going to slide this uh, jumper wire. Now, as you have seen here, it is oscillating or blinking. And then we can also change the blinking pattern since the blinking is very small. Oh, let us uh, now change it by sliding this uh, sort of uh, gatling gun with our bottle uh, robot. Now you can now change the blinking pattern. Did you see the blinking pattern? Oh, something wrong. Yes. Did you see that? Now, something wrong. Short circuiting. That's now the second blinking pattern of our uh, robot. No, I mean our arthropod uh, module. Looks like a robot. And then, we have another blinking pattern here by sliding again the switch or the jumper this one oh a short circuit again let us see let us see now that is now the blinking pattern the third blinking pattern of our transistor LED flasher. This is good for display once you're done with the project as a souvenir. Aside from uh, learning how to build a sake oscillator, a transistor LED flasher, you can now display this in your museum, museum of your electronics project. Aside from uh, state-of-the-art design or uh, using your creative mind or the right side of your brain we can now have this some sort of battle robots or robot fighter an arthropod module and now let, uh, let us now see the other functions let us use this as A tone generator. Just slide the the other uh, jumper, jumper two, again, and we're going to use a speaker, a concert made in China, sound of Denmark. 80 watts concert Twitter type speaker put the speaker here and connect the speaker to our module this one I think this one is positive the positive side of the speaker connected to our module positive and then the negative to the negative Did you hear the ticking sound? That is the sound produced by the arthropod module.
Okay, let us now check the other uh, sound generated by this module. A little bit faster. And then we have another third, another third uh, sound here by sliding again the jumper. Sounds like a motor. That is the third, the third uh, sound that this module can produce. So we have this, a tone generator at the same time, an LED flasher at the same time, a display, displayable items, collectible items. Let us now again see. The LED flasher that is the counterpart of the sound of the motor so let us now check uh, our uh, circuit diagram to see how the circuit uh, functions or how did we get the circuit we have here figure 3 tone generator isaki oscillator arthropod module in our circuit we have this a transistor 2n to 2a open base collector and emitter it is connected here also a resistor we have a node A, node E, node B, C, D, different capacitor values. And also we have power on LED here, uh, DO or LED, power on LED and the, the current limiting uh, resistor, 1 kilo ohms. And also we have this, as you have seen in our uh, module, we got two jumper, jumper 1 and jumper 2 and all is connected to our circuit via these uh, lines so we got also the speaker here and the speaker is connected outside outside the io power header supplied by 12 volts that is now the circuit diagram so every time i uh, slide or uh, change the jumper different types of capacitor is functioning or I'm using different types of capacitor every time I change the jumper settings when it's when I need a, a faster uh, tone generator I need this uh, value capacitor now I'm going to slide the jumper here if I need a little bit uh, faster here and the slower using this 4700 microfarad 1100 and these settings jumper settings is for when I'm going to use the onboard LED flasher or slide that or uh, change that whenever I'm going to use this speaker so this is for output LED flasher and speaker or tone generator so this is good and uh, you can build this aside from building a circuit you can have the souvenir this is the layout as you have seen here the transistor is at the top that is the transistor and then the three capacitors one two three and then we have here the resistor at the side 
the side of the resistor, other side also. And then we have this a, a jumper, a little jumper here, the other side, this one, and then also we have a jumper, big jumper, jumper 2, consists of 5 pins. This one, jumper 2, and our output onboard LED, the big one, the red one. And then also we have the power on LED, the green one, located here below or under the body of the module. And then the base, that is now the header, input, output. And also the power, input, output, power, header. See the output of the speaker. I'm using the speaker. I connected it to the base. And then I also connect the power supply. And this is now our tone generator arthropod layout. That is how the circuit constructed. So, if you are interested in studying the current flows of the circuit, of how the circuit uh, yield, let's go into our analysis of electron flow or uh, electronics uh, engineering part. So, this one is an Isaki oscillator or sometimes called transistor LED flasher circuit diagram once you have the power 12 volts here and then the current flows to our 1 kilo ohms rd charging the capacitor and once the capacitor is fully charged is it discharges through led and to the emitter to the collector of the transistor as you have seen here since this is a previous circuit, this one is this. I think this one, the red one. Because I'm using this uh, 222A transistor. The transistor is uh, connected differently or in this uh, configuration. Open base, collector is grounded and emitter is uh, connected in series with LED. I'll put LED. So the, the effect of the negative resistance or the electron flow or the reverse voltage happening between the collector and emitter is that makes the LED to blink or to flash. So every time you the capacitor is charging and discharging, it discharges through LED and meeting the negative resistance it means the electron flows from collector to emitter making a, a closed circuit that's make the led to blinks putting this led to the ground and in here this is uh, i'm using one kilo ohms arbitrary values but for uh, in my experience for 12 volts we are going to use always uh, use uh, one kilo ohm because it will uh, the resistor is getting uh, very hot. We can see that in our computation here. So this is now our new circuit design, Figure Two, Isaki Tone Generator Circuit Diagram. In here. I also connected the circuit in this uh, the same. I have the circuit, the same circuit. But now, instead of BS here, I got BCC. Denoting that I'm uh, dealing with the voltage supply of the transistor. Just unlike the previous one, I'm using always BS or voltage supply. But it's almost the same. 12 volts, the same. Now we have here a power on LED. I add the power on LED here. 
So the current flows here when you close the circuit, current flows into R, D, O, D, O, then to the ground. So in here we're going to compute for the values of resistor by using KBL. Upon on circuit, capacitor is charging power LED on. So using KBL here, BCC to DO. BCC to DO. To the ground. BCC minus BRDO minus voltage wrap at the LED is equal to zero. This voltage rating of LED and the current rating is given data sheet of the LED that is given. That is the required voltage and the current to light the LED. So by substitute by transposition, substitution, calculation, 10 volts. The voltage drop across uh, RDO is 10 volts. And now using Ohm's law B is equal to IR, transposition, substitution, as I've said, current rating is 0 0.02 ampere for the LED. That's the current flows into the resistor. It's the same as the LED since they are in series. So we get now 500 ohms. But the question here is, if you use 500 ohms, 1 port watt or 20.25 watt, it's getting hot. The resistor is getting very hot. So let us uh, check why is it very hot using that uh, 500 ohms, 20.25 watt or 1 port watt. By calculating the power usage of the resistor here, since power formula is equal to BI, voltage at RDO, I, RDO, 10 volts, that is the 10 volts voltage drop at RDO, and then the current loss is 0 0.02. We got 0 0.02, 0 0.2 watt, and we are using a resistor of 500 ohms, 0.25 watt. So it is very close to our uh, the tolerance of the resistor. So that's why the resistor, if you're going to use 500 ohms, 0.25 watt or 1 port, 1 port watt, it's getting very hot. Aside from the tolerance of the resistor itself, based on the color coding of the resistor. So instead of using uh, 500 ohms, I use 1 kilo ohm, 1 port watt, 0.25 watt. Why? If we're going to compute for uh, using Ohm's law, BIR, I is equal to BR. Power formula, BI, B over I is the same as BR. Becomes by simplifying the equation B squared over R. Now, since the voltage drop at RD, O is 10 to the square divided by 1000 ohms. We're now using 1 kilo ohms to check why we are going to use that. And now the power consumption of the resistor is 0 0.1 watt. So it's uh, safe to use 1 kilo ohms for the RDO. So I use that. Even uh, though the light of the LED is getting dim, uh, I will not get a bright uh, light for the LED but uh, that is the safe value. Always use 1 kilo ohms when you are using 12 volts. So now, we now know the values of the current limiting resistor to limit the current to LED to protect the LED. Now also current flows in here to the RD, charging the capacitor. We are using also KBL here, RD, the same calculation. So it we, we have the same calculation, we have the same resistor value, so I use also 1 kilo ohms. That's why in our previous circuit, it's okay to use this arbitrary values of 1 kilo ohm. So RD now is 1 kilo ohm, RDO is 1 kilo ohm, the same computation. Okay, using KBL here. KBL, BCC, minus BRB, voltage drop at RD, and then to the ground. But the equation looks like this 
So using that capacitor charging state. So when you use the KBL here, capacitor is charging at that state. And we're going to see to use KBL, BCC minus voltage drop at the resistor here is equal to zero using KBL or Kirchhoff's voltage law. Now we have this equation, BRB is equal to BRD, BCC is equal to the same as the voltage supply, BRD. So we using Ohm's law by BIR substitution, transposition, calculation, we got 600 ohms. But I did not use 600 ohms because uh, in checking also, when I'm using 600 ohms to the circuit, if you check the power consumption of the resistor, if you're using 600 ohms, one port watt, we get 12BI.02 since the voltage drop at RD, RD is 12 volts by our computation here, 12 volts. We get now the power consumption of resistor of 0.24 watt or approximately equal to point. 25 watt of the resistor. So when you're going to use 600 ohms one port resistor, it's not advisable So we have also we can uh, calculate the charging of the capacitor The charging speed and the discharging that is by using time constant formula Tau that is tau time constant is equal to resistor times capacitor. We're using 1000 resistor here and then the capacitor 1000 microfarad 1000 is equal to 1 times 10 to the cube 1000 times micro is equal to 10 to the negative 6 10 to the negative 6 minus 10 to the cube is 10 to the negative 3 and then transposition transposing to the left making it 1 negative 3 1 times 1 then tau is 1 second That is now how to so you have seen here I just replace the LED with the speaker that will make this a tone generator isaki tone generator instead of LED I'm using the speaker so that is now the tone generator just replace the LED with the speaker current flows here current flows here charging the capacitor discharging the capacitor making a sound discharging charging discharging charging discharging with this transistor connected in this way open base that is now how to make uh, analyze the electron flow of a an Isaki tone generator that is why we have this I'm using different values of capacitor to to change the speed of charging and discharging of the capacitor of the circuit you can compute the time period or the time constant so when you hear uh, or when you just like this one it flashes uh, very fast so it means i'm using uh, a smaller values of capacitor because this uh, value capacitor can change the speed of the blinking of the led at the same time the speed of the tone generated by the speaker or by the circuit by Manipulating the jumper. If you're going to use our 4700 microfarad 16 volt capacitor, just connect the just uh, connect whatever you like the capacitor you're going to use. Slide the jumper. Also, if you're going to use uh, LED or the speaker, just slide the jumper. And this one so that is now how to make a tone generator with our new module another module uh, arthropod series 
so this one is uh, collectible items and uh, stay tuned to our channel we're going to make uh, different versions of arthropod any types of circuit we are going to build to any type of circuit we're going to build so thank you for watching and bye bye